it's Catherine from Cascade Botanical. You might know me from Instagram as Cascade Cat. I'm here to talk about the basic operation of the Cascade Botanical TVO5 or TVO2 vacuum oven. We've already installed the oven. We have the bottom shelf installed, and now we're ready to use the oven. Of course, we'd want to turn it on, and now we're going to look at the controller and the over temperature protection. The robust programmable PID controller, the temperature probe inside the oven, and the solid aluminum shelves are the trifecta that allows Cascade Botanical to supply you with a vacuum oven that has even heating and is known throughout the industry for no overshoot, no temperature spikes, and no unevenness across the shelves. You're able to use the entire shelf capacity, every square inch, because we know that the heating is even. You won't get buttering up on one side and unstable oil on the other. The controller provides a lot of information to the user. The current temperature in the oven, the set point, as well as a pilot light that will inform you as to whether or not the heaters are being activated. The control panel of both the TVO2 and TVO5 vacuum ovens are identical. Light it on switch, main temperature controller, door light switch, over temperature protection, vent valve, vacuum valve, and gauge. The first thing we're gonna do is set the high limit protection. This over temperature controller is intended to shut down power to the heaters in case there is a dramatic failure. So we're gonna set this 10 degrees higher than the highest set point we'll be using in the oven. This is very easy to set. Green button once, up or down arrow to adjust the temperature, and then hit the reset key. On the main controller, you'll see that there are six buttons here. These four don't really apply to basic operation. If you have any questions about what they do, please feel free to give me a call. All you need to know to operate the oven is up arrow is up temperature, down arrow is down. The upper red display is the temperature in the oven right now. The lower green display is the set point. Think of this as where the oven is stopped and where you want to go. Using the up and down arrows, adjust the temperature to your desired set point, and then there is a little number one light that will show up when we're heating. On the vacuum portion of the control panel, we've got the vent valve, the vacuum valve, and the analog display. Inches of mercury are right here on the outer edge of the display. The proper steps to using the vacuum portion of the oven are as follows. First, make sure both of these are closed. Then, turn on your vacuum pump. Open the vacuum valve by turning it to the left, and you'll begin to see the needle going in a counterclockwise direction. We suggest leaving the vacuum valve open through the entire purge process. When you're through purging or you need to open up the door, close the vacuum valve, open the vent valve, and you'll release the vacuum in the chamber. Once the needle has made it back to zero, Close the vent valve, open up the door, and at that point, you could turn off your pump. Here's a pro tip for you. When you've opened up your vacuum valve, if you're getting an excessive muffin and you're concerned that it's going to hit the shelf above it, you can go ahead and crack the vent valve a little bit. What this will do is allow some air or gas to come in and overwhelm the pump so that it can't pull quite as hard on your product. Because the vacuum valve is still open, you'll still be off-gassing solvent actively. Some people control the muffin by closing the vacuum valve and letting it settle down by itself. This is okay, but it would be better to leave the vacuum valve open, be constantly pulling out the solvent, and manage that bubbling and agitation with the vent valve. Just remember, you wanna close the vent valve as soon as it's through the muffining stage so that you don't overwhelm your pump with excess gas load. So that's it. Turn it on, up arrow up, down arrow down, righty tighty, lefty loosey. No calibration, no changing the settings for each set point. It's easy to use and now you're ready to go. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram and if you have any questions, just give me a call.